Good evening. And what a pleasure it is to have you with us. Hey, Shannon. My name's Angie. I'm from New York. I was just wondering if you wax your eyebrow to get at that fleek or if that's just natural. Thanks. Oh, sweetheart. I don't mean to break any hearts out there, but this shit is natural. I'm going to make this quick because I'm driving, man. I seen a story about this dad and his daughter out in a park in New York City. These five teenage kids came up on him and they pulled a gun out and told the dad to get lost. The dad listened and they raped his daughter. My question for you is, what would you have done? That's fucked up. That just better proves my point. That only a good guy with a gun can stop a bad guy with a gun. Fight for your fucking rights to be able to carry a fucking gun. I'll be honest with you, man. I'm a hot-headed motherfucker. I would have did everything I could to keep that shit from happening. Probably would have got myself killed. I definitely wouldn't have fucking took off and left my daughter. Okay, Shannon. If you win the lottery, what you gonna do? Well, first things first. <laughs> And after the ridiculous fucking celebration, um, all of my close family and friends uh, would definitely get a large amount of money to help them, you know, from struggling and shit in life. You know, that doesn't solve everything, but it does solve, solve a lot of things. And there's a lot of people that you run across in life, like people you get coffee from in the morning and, you know, shit like that. I would definitely give them some money, too. Uh, definitely look into some charities as well. But you have to fucking go buy a house. Some nice shit. You know, things that you fucking deserve. It's a lot of fucking money. I do a lot of good shit for a lot of good people. How many peckers would a pedophile touch? A pedophile could touch peckers. All the peckers. The answer's all the peckers. Hi, yo. My name's Squirrely. And don't mind these kids that be homely, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, David Manny on Shannon Turner's page wanted to know, if you fail to pay your exorcist, does that mean you get repossessed? Please answer us that. Thank you. This is America. Ain't shit free. You don't pay a motherfucker what you owe him. You definitely need to expect to give the shit back. What's up with these tricky fucking questions, though? I'm not stupid. Shannon, why do they call it a parkway if you have to drive? And a driveway if you have to park? Let me know, you Pekka toucher. <laughs> I don't touch Pekkas. I think they just do that shit to make us sit and fucking wonder. So that you can give me questions like that that I can't fucking answer. Fuck. Okay, Shannon, here's your question. Whose idea was it to name Bulls Balls Rocky Mountain Oysters? Haha. <laughs> Actually, my good buddy Tim Salisbury came up with that shit. You know, after we took that dive to the bottom of the Atlantic, we went up to the fucking mountains so you could find some shit to make shoelaces. Well, we were up there for a while. We didn't have shit to eat. And now, all that motherfucker eats is seafood. There was a big-ass bull. He chopped that bull's nuts off. I told him to pretend that they were oysters. Rocky Mountain oysters. Shannon, what do you think about the Kardashians? Are you a fan or not? Obviously not. Probably. But anyways... Um, didn't they all get famous off of, uh, one of them's sex tape? Now you might find this hard to believe, but I actually like those people. And I have a good reason for that. Now, I don't know how they all got famous, but it probably could have been a sex tape. And the reason I like them is because they make me feel really good about myself. Hey man, I just want to know, when I become all rich and famous from my band shit, if every time I break my G-string, if you're gonna fucking come and change it for me. 
We'll talk about that shit when you make some money, motherfucker. Besides, real rock stars don't wear underwear, motherfucker. You got a lot to learn, grasshopper. Hi, Shannon. It's Chewbacca again, you motherfucker. Would you put heroin in your vape? I can tell who it is, Captain Obvious. And no. But I can tell you do. Um, what do you prefer? Boy shorts or thong? Or none? Which one do you prefer to wear? Shannon? Depends on what kind of day I'm having. If I'm having mood swings, I don't want anything riding up my ass. What the fuck am I talking about? I love G-strings. Why is it when chewy food goes stale, it gets crunchy, and when crunchy food goes stale, it gets chewy? I guess it's because the opposites attract. Just like a fucking black guy wants to be white, a fucking white guy wants to be black. But I'll tell you one thing. One looks worse than the other. Ain't nothing like a fucking dorky white kid named Jeffrey with a fucking nickname called T-Stacks. If you were walking down the street while drunk and fell dick first into a very attractive gorilla's vagina and had the best sex of your life, would you bring her home to your family for Christmas and Thanksgiving and date her? That's it. Are you asking for a friend? Or are you looking for some advice? There's no fucking way you just come up with that shit. You have to be going through something. And if you did... You need fucking pharmaceuticals. All right, Shannon. We know that there has been a lot, lot of controversy about breastfeeding and how long you should breastfeed for and whether you should breastfeed in public. What are your stances as a dad of an extended breastfeeder? How long do you think they should breastfeed for and is breastfeeding in public okay? You can breastfeed as long as you want, like forever. Right, babe? It's totally fine and you can do it forever. However long the mom and the child wants to do it. Good for them. It's the healthiest food a baby can get. And as for breastfeeding in public, if you're looking at it in a fucked up way, then you're just a fucked up person. It's natural, dumbass. You're not a dumbass, Angel. The people that are Angel's my sister. Hi, sis. You ever get sent the wrong shit when you order something? I ordered a rebel flag cover for my Xbox, and I got whatever the fuck this shit is. That was a waste of 15 bucks. Not really. I don't order much shit online. I mean, my wife does. You could probably ask her. I bet she's got the wrong shit before. Tell you one fucking thing, though. I'd keep that shit, whatever the fuck it is. And if you don't want it, sell it and make some money. Fucking give those sons of bitches a call, get your fucking money back, and get what you wanted for free. Fuck yeah. You gotta act like me when you do it, though. Trust me, it'll work. Yeah, I got a fucked up question. Of course, I always have fucked up questions. Would it be gay if I won the Powerball tonight and then you sucked my dick for a million bucks? That's what I want to know. Would it be gay or would it just be me looking out for a homeboy? I don't know. Let me know. That's fucking John again. If you were looking out for a homie, why wouldn't you just give me the money, motherfucker? <laughs> like, I'd fucking do that anyway. Tell me what your thoughts about the vaping juice from the e-cigarettes getting in your lungs from the heat spinning back. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I've never had any fucking problems with it. Oh, fuck.